So I thought I'd show you how easy it is to update this launch code reader number 629. So on the um, right side of the tool, it's got this little cover. You'll see it's got the um, USB card in there. And then it has the connector that it uses, which is a mini USB. Now I'm very glad to see that they're using the uh, mini USB as um, the micro USB, which is what Android used to use in their phones and now has gone to the USB-C I just uh, the micro USB uh, I don't think is as stout as this uh, mini USB connector is especially when it comes to the cord that plugs into them I like this uh, connector much better so the cord that you receive with this unit is an approximately 32 inches long it uses the USB-A connector at the bottom plugs into your computer and then uh, sitting on top of this that I have shown is your mini USB plug now I didn't think that that cord was quite long enough I wanted something a little bit longer especially when I'm at the computer give me just a little bit more range in motion so all I did was get a uh, USB A extension and uh, you can buy them in various lengths here you see what you'll have is on the left side you'll have the male part of it and then on the left you have the female part so basically now this whatever length you decide to get you'll plug in the US, USB-A uh, into here and then the other end this end here will plug into your computer and now that it will this will effectively give you a much longer distance to work with the scan tool from your computer or laptop now as I showed earlier you have your micro USB card right here and I'm not going to pull it out there's some writing on it I don't know if it's specific just to uh, the numbers to this so I don't want to show any of the uh, numbers if it's registered to this unit but to update the software in here you need to take that out and don't pull that out unless the unit is completely off make sure it's not on the vehicle's not on you want this unplugged from the vehicle and um, then you got to put it in a card reader now included with this uh, reader scan tool is this adapter in which you would put the micro USB card in here then this would go into your computer so that you could read the card and update the software so now you would pull the card out of here and put it back into the scan tool now I've got three very important things to say about this card reader one do not use it two do not use it and thirdly do not use it the micro USB card provided with the scan tool when you stick it in there I should have looked ahead of time there is no raised surface area on there to pull it back out and as soon as I put it in there I kind of noticed that and I thought oh hell how am I gonna get this thing out of here you quite literally have no grasp of the micro USB card once you've inserted it in here so what I quite literally had to do is I just took this brass 
thread gauge thing that I had that with the little small teeth on it and when the card was in there what was sticking out hopefully not going to do any damage is I was able to take this again it's, it's uh, how many threads per inch is this uh, 0.8 pitch point uh, 0 0.8 pitch and I was able to take that put it on the card to grip it and then pull out a couple times and, and, and be able to pull that card out so once I detected that I just used my default card reader and you'll see here in this particular one is where that uh, would go into and uh, had no issues then but I thought I would raise that issue with you just in case you do that um, you don't want to be using screwdrivers and you may not have any thread gauges like that and uh, so I bring that up ahead of time just so that you know and uh, I do think that the user manual that they give you is very nice they do go over quite a bit in here as far as codes the meaning of the um, uh, different things um, well, well done your trouble codes examples of what they mean uh, they go over your tool uh, I, I thought you did a very good job of documenting it and it's in a booklet form so which is very nice you know here we got OBD2 monitors I mean it, it really gives the novice a good overview to get some insight and again giving you the hard copy is nice versus just saying hey go to the website and download the PDF which you can do which I've done but having a pre-printed thing like this is very nice very nice so in the quick start guide that you see here which you also get and you can download that as a PDF you're gonna see that you need to download the update tool and you go to this URL you just type this in just like you see right here so when you type that link in it'll actually send you to something like this and then down here you'll just click on update tool then that'll take you to where you can download the zip file and that's the name of it so just put this on your hard drive at a location that you can find it so now you'll see the top name which is the actual zip file uh, I'm using WinRAR I also have uh, what's that other one WinZip but I let Win, WinRAR W-I-N-R-A-R I use that as my uh, default uh, uh, zip utility so that's what you'll download and depending on when you download it it may have a different version number and if we open up that uh, zip file we see that here's the name of it and you'll see where the bottom file is the actual file that I have extracted out of that uh, zipped file now that's going to be your installer file and here you see the uh, folder that it put in now this in my particular system it went to C program files x86 launch and then inside the launch is this folder when you open up that folder you'll come to a file by this name this is the one you'll click on and then here you'll see the application and then this is where now I've already put in the um, the one number so you're not going to see it here because you only have to do that one time but here's where you're going to see the product serial number anytime you open this you got to put in your product serial number I'm sure they do that just to make sure that uh, I don't know that you're getting updates and you have a legitimate unit unit and it's uh, not a bogus unit they want to make sure you have it and since I've already put in the register code the first time once you reopen it like I have now they have a restore system 
to where if you put a different card, micro USB card in, uh, my understanding is it will restore the new card to the files that are required. Now when your unit boots up, it'll give you the serial number and the uh, registration code, the register code. Or you can go to the home screen here and simply scroll down to the help and then come down to tool information and click that and when you do I have it covered up but it will give you the serial number of your unit and the register code so once you put in the required uh, information you'll get a screen something like this and then I'm not going to do it since I've already done it but you'd have to have your uh, you'd hit download go to where your uh, micro SB card is the drive once you plug that into your computer in the um, card reader that I mentioned previously plug that into your computer if it's the I drive or you know D or F whatever drive it is you'll point it to that drive once you hit download and then it'll start doing its thing as it progresses through the uh, downloading of the required updates you'll see the uh, the bar show how much of a percentage you are done and when completed you'll get this message thanks for your patience software update is complete then just hit the OK then what you'll do is you'll take the micro USB card out of the reader stick it back into the tool and then uh, plug the tool in you can plug it into the computer uh, and, and which turn it on and you'll see the activation bar the green activation bar like you saw on the application on your computer it will actually on the screen now it will go and show you the progress as it takes the files and up, updates the uh, actual scan tool itself. I'll show the white booklet, the quick start guide, where it talks about the tool starts ver verifying the consistency of the local files with the files in the memory card. If differences exist, the tool will automatically start updating and a green update progress bar will appear on the bottom of the screen. Be patient to wait until the update is completely finished. And that's exactly how the process went for me. Now I have to say I had absolutely no issues updating this. Uh, once I put in the information in the application, uh, the executable on the computer, and it actually clicked it to do the update, I and I did all 40 of them that it showed that was possible I don't think it took more than maybe six seven minutes at the most didn't take long at all very simple operation I really like the idea of being able to take the card out put the update onto the card then pull the card out put it back into the scan tool and then turn the scan tool on because if there's a glitch I'm going to assume that once you put the card instead of actually updating the unit while it's on the computer plugged in you're updating the software on a card then you're taking that card putting it in here so if there's a glitch you won't turn this into a brick because in a lot of cases when you're updating things like this if this was plugged into the computer and there was a glitch or you lost power for some reason you could actually turn the scan tool into a brick and as I understand it somebody can correct me if I'm wrong you can always as I showed there where you can back up if you do have an issue you could back up and restore the files using that application like I showed you so it'd be uh, no big deal just to put everything back onto the micro SD card 
versus the possibility of having this directly plugged into the computer and having an issue.